Hey guys, today you're going to get one sheet of white paper off of the supply table and everything else you need should be at your table. Like always, we always put our name on the back, Mr. Calvert, and you are two, and whatever your secret code is. You're going to flip it back over. Today we are going to be tracing these cows onto our rectangles. Typically, I would want you to put them like this because they fit better, but because we are going to be turning these into a special project at the end, I want you to do your paper vertically today. All right? I know that your cow is just barely going to fit. So I'm carefully lining them up, and then I'm going to carefully trace around them. You might want to ask a neighbor to help you hold this while you trace around it. And you're going to need to trace a cow in each one of those rectangles. So I got one. I need to do three more. All right. After you've traced your cow four times and you've helped your partner do it as well, you're going to use markers to color your cow. We're going to be working with the complementary colors. All right, so think of purple and yellow, red and green, and blue and orange. When you color, start with the lighter one of the pair. So if I'm using purple and yellow, I want to use purple first. That way, because if I did purple first, or I want to use yellow first, if I did purple first, I might accidentally get some of that purple onto my nice clean marker tip. So you have two options. You can paint or color your cow yellow with the purple background, or you could do them purple with the yellow background. It's up to you how you want to do that, but you need to use each pair of complementary colors at least once, and one of them you will have to do twice. When I start my background, it helps if I trace out where that edge is. It's right along the fold. And to also trace around the edge of my cow. That helps me stay in the lines when I go to color. When you get this far, you are finished. I do not expect you to get this far today. All right, so we will probably have all today and all next class to finish these. Remember that you're working with complementary colors. Because there are only three pairs of complementary colors, you'll need to repeat one, like I did with my purple and my yellow. When you're done with these, these will go on the drying rack or in a pile, actually we'll do a pile up on the supply table. Then you're reading, free drawing, or weaving when you're finished.